Hello, I'm Matt Edmondson and welcome to The Apprentice Meet the Candidates. Once again, the greatest business minds in Britain have put themselves forward for the ultimate investment opportunity. And there is only one person that Lord Sugar trusts to conduct those interviews. Sadly, uh, they're not available. So instead, I've grabbed the audition tapes and created my own alternative interviews. OK, Karina, let's start with some poetry. What have you got for me? Pocket Rocket is what I used to be called in MS. Pocket Rocket, you don't really want to mess. That was almost a Shakespearean sonnet. Why Pocket Rocket? When I take my heels off, I'm like five foot one. Tell me about it. I seem as though I have had everything handed to me on a spoon. A spoon? Sounds like a bit of a struggle. People normally at least get it handed to them on a plate. I mean, how much could you even fit on a spoon? I really haven't, that isn't the case. Yeah, 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 but look, look, I've managed to get two eggs balanced perfectly on top of the spoon. This is incredible. I'll tell you what, just keep spouting some generic apprentice audition nonsense and I'll focus on this. As Shakespeare said, though she be but little, she is fierce and I really am. Yeah, great, but look, I've managed to get a pineapple on there too. I'm not here to be the queen of a jungle. I'm here to be the queen of a business empire. Yeah, sure, but is this not the most amazing thing you have ever seen? If you don't want a brutal answer, don't ask a stupid question. OK, Dean, so if you could begin by saying anything that doesn't start with the phrase, at the end of the day, that would be ideal. At the end of the day, if I've got my view, I'm going to make sure it's going to be heard. Ah, Dean, that was almost perfect. You just slipped up at the beginning there, didn't you, by saying, at the end of the day. Do you want to try again? At the end of the day, I'm confident in what I do, my skill set and what I have done. Mm. I'm not confident that you can stop starting sentences with the phrase at the end of the day. So Marianne, what piece of advice do you live your life by? Anybody that comes into your house, you have to offer them tea. You're right. How rude of me. Would you like some tea? No. But you just suggested I offer you one. You're not supposed to say yes when somebody offers you tea. Yeah, right. But do you want a tea? Yeah. So shall I pour you one? No. I'm confused. You're actually supposed to say no, and then let them insist. OK, let me insist again. Would you like a cup of tea? So I'm considering all of the, all of the pros, cons, and, and long-term effects, short-term effects of the things that I'm thinking about doing, but I'm doing it very, very quickly, and I make a decision. OK, so your answer is... This is easy. I can do this tea thing. Finally! It's gone cold. Hi, my name is Solomon Barr. Hello, mate. I'd offer you some tea, but I've given up. Why try at all if you're not going to do it properly? Make sure you analyse everything, do everything to the tea, just like how it's supposed to be done, and you will get a good end out of it. Oh, sure. Now everyone's a tea expert. What do you know about success anyway? I won a gold medal in Brazil uh, in the junior 100 metres at uh, 11 seconds. So I'm currently training for the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. OK, well, I recently won an egg and spoon race. Yeah, today I'm Batman. Yeah, I've got my, um, what, what car I've got today? I've got a Mercedes Coupe today. OK, I think you'll find that I'm Batman, and I actually arrived in a Nissan Cube. Anyway, tell me more about you. I'll shake your hand with my right brow, hold a rock on my left, because I don't trust anyone. Yeah, well, little did you know that Batman always keeps a piece of paper in his left hand, and paper beats rock. Batman wins. At the end of the day, if I'm me my whole time, I know that I'm going to succeed in business. Well, in this environment, Dean, you're not succeeding, are you? At the one very simple thing I've asked you to do. So try again. At the end of the day, I've got a proven check record of what I've done. Uh, OK, we're going to try this one more time. Just try and say any sentence that doesn't start with the phrase at the end of the day. At the end of the day, in business, if you chase money, you're never going to get money. Okay. Okay, Pamela, what do you think has been missing from your life? I don't think I've been tested. Okay, well, I think I can help with that. Question one. In 1996, what Celine Dion track reached number six in the UK chart? All by myself. Correct. What does the acronym WYSIWYG stand for? What you see is what you get. Correct. How quickly can you solve these three anagram conundrums? I have determination, drive and resilience. <laughs> That was quick. You're good at this. Name is Thomas Skinner. My age is 28 years old and I sell pillars. Well, what a stroke of luck, Thomas Skinner, because I'm actually building an archway in my house at the moment and I need a load of pillars to help hold it up. How many have you got? I've done 6,000 pillars in the last couple of months, which ain't too sad. Whew, that is a lot of pillars. What have you been building? A coliseum? How sturdy are they? 
They're 100% memory foam. Hmm, that doesn't seem very structurally sound. Look, mate, I don't think you're right there. Can I just double check? You definitely sell pillars. If I sell myself. Okay, I'm a bit confused. Just to check, do you sell anything else with these pillars? I sell pillars and mattresses. Yeah, that's me. Can I, can I get one of those? Lubna, tell me about you. I'm a very direct and honest person. Oh, me too. In fact, I was saying exactly the same thing on my Instagram earlier. I'm not a follower. You're missing out. I don't like other people wasting my time. It's a bit rude. You're telling me you don't want to see top quality online content? It depends on the situation and the person. Well, the situation is a man aiming to break the world record for the fastest consumed pint of milk, and the man is me! There will be hiccups. We'll see about that. Lord Sugar likes a multitasker. Show me, how would you brush your teeth and waft away a wasp at exactly the same time? <laughs> well, here we are again, Gemlin. And I'll be honest, I'm slightly concerned that I've lost my edge when it comes to interviewing apprentice candidates. Ah, don't worry, you'll be fine. I very much appreciate that. Any advice? Be kind. That is going to be a challenge. Anything else? Fight for whatever you want to leave for. This is empowering stuff. And just be awesome. Love yourself with everything. Everything that you have. Yeah, I currently only have this banana. <laughs> Dean, I'm begging you, just one sentence. One sentence that doesn't start with the phrase, at the end of the day. One. At the end of the day, I'm a person. I'm, I'm who I am. Uh, and I think from a young age, I've always been a very purebred entrepreneur. Uh, <sighs> please, Dean. Please. Just one sentence, dude. Just one sentence. Well, I am really the epitome of, I like to think of luxury. Finally, someone on my level. Tell me more about you. I would say that I am the David Dick Dickinson, David Dickinson of business. That's funny, because I would say you're the Michael McIntyre of this room. Can I offer you a chocolate? I will eat anything that comes in my way in order to get what I want. And I'm not afraid to make a few noises if I'm not happy. Okay, maybe later. Okay, Aisha, a few quick fire questions. What do you wish you could change about yourself? I think it's quite a weird thing to say, but I'd wish I could be less driven. Maybe it's time to stop taking taxis. What advice would you give to someone facing a shark attack? If they see weakness in you, they're going to try and bring you down. Wise words. Finally, in your opinion, what are the best two ways to heat up food? Microwaves or hair dryers. Finally, someone who understands fine cuisine. My name is Lewis, I'm 28, and I currently work as a digital marketing manager. OK, Lewis, well, you should know that we only have one rule in this room. So why are you right for this process? Lewis is uh, a guy who just doesn't want to grow up, but he wants to be successful. He's passionate and driven. He's going to get where he's going, but he's not going to do it the same way as everyone else. Next! At the end of the day, you've just got to keep fighting, and that's what I'm going to keep doing until I win this process. Dean, please, just one sentence. At the end of the day, it's only going to come and but What's the expression? <laughs> Scarlett, I'm ideally looking for a candidate who rhymes all of their sentences. Are you up to the job? I'm kind of in it to win it. Good start, but do you think you've got the right energy for this process? Where your emotions go, your energy will flow. You are good at this. It says here that you've got two kids, is that right? They're called the trio, sometimes the trio. When it comes to rhyme, you are sublime. It's rubbing off. I would say I am too competitive at times. Me too. What have you competed in? I ran. Me too. I uh, played football. Me too. Played cricket. Me too. I'll tell you what, if you're so competitive, I challenge you to a dance-off. Oh, yeah. I see you're also all about those shoulders. Ah, the old tie a bow and a birthday present. Listen, this is too close. We need to settle this some other way. Challenge me to something. How quickly can you eat? Pretty quickly. By the way, what is this? Alcohol-infused ice cream. Mm. Yes. 
Absolutely delicious. So there you have it, another bunch of business brains ready to turn up with their tiny suitcases and walk inconsiderately across the bridges of London. Make sure you catch them in action when The Apprentice returns. I can't wait.